Hello, my friends. Figured that while I got this free time, I would talk to you guys. Those who are willing to listen. For those who have eyes to see. Sorry about the camera. Now, uh, in the last week or so, a lot has changed. I'm sure a lot of you are aware of that. Uh, world is simply not the same as what it was. Uh, things are different now, spiritually. As of a month ago, I noticed uh, the world is different, weather-wise. People are very, very strange. As I speak, there are people shooting guns a few hundred feet from me in the woods, so if you hear crackers, don't be surprised. Just another example of what I'm talking about. Now, last month a lot has changed, and in the last month, spiritually, the world has, how could I say, uh, 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 raised the level. It's gone from one level to a higher level in the last month. Okay? Now, for those of you who know me, you know that every now and then I smoke grass, and I have a joint towards the sunset. I haven't done that in over a week now. Okay? Now I can tell you I'm seeing things a little more clearly than what I was. Now, don't get me wrong, it is nice to smoke a joint, joint towards the end of the day, like towards sunset. Okay, I found that out a little while ago, but you don't need it, you see. After a while, uh, it just becomes part of your routine. Smoking becomes part of your daily routine. And uh, I feel like that's what God has, you know, he's kind of weaning me away from that in a way, spiritually. Uh, my head's a little, a little clearer than what it was. I'm not as paranoid as I was. However, I notice the world has gotten a lot more spiritual since I've stopped smoking. You know, last night I feel like the Lord really spoke to me in spirit. You know, He didn't speak to me verbally, but, uh, uh, hey, see, he shows you things. That's what I found. He shows you things. Mentally. It's like he gives you wisdom. He just has you understand. And... Remember last night as I was praying, right before I fell asleep, the word, uh, fornication came into my mind. And, uh... It's weird, my thought process changed and I saw myself sitting here just as I am now at the cave by the water talking to you. And the word just began to guide my mind. Uh, uh, it's like I started thinking of things to say. I know a lot of people, uh, they don't like to hear about this kind of stuff. They don't like to hear... Uh, about the deep reality that uh, fornication is probably the worst sin that a man or woman could commit. Um, I just began to see myself in my head sitting here at the cave at peace like I am now, just chilling. And, uh, and thought it, suddenly my thoughts changed. And I began to, you know, type a couple things into Google. I always type things in, sometimes exactly what I think. I'll just type in, what does this mean? What happens when you do this? And you'd be surprised. Google gives you a lot of, a lot of information. You'd be surprised about that. So as I was in this uh, state of mind, and I was on a topic, I decided to type in uh, fornication into Google. And uh, I, be, I, I came to a couple websites, and I started bringing up a few things I already knew, like how when you have sex, you're not just, it's not just a physical thing. There's a very deep spiritual aspect involved. Uh, 
basically the person you're making out with is becoming a part of you and at the same time you're becoming a part of them I advise you to look that up on your own don't take my word for it because I can't really explain that too good in words however uh, I kept reading and to the bottom of this one website I don't know what website it was I don't know the name of it I didn't bother looking but what I do remember is the fact that it said all sin is equal. I remember reading that in the Bible. But there's one sin. One sin that's worse than all. And that is fornication. Because you are sinning against your own body. You are practically opening your body up. You're putting your spiritual your spiritual guard down. You're putting all spiritual aspects aside, and you are going totally into into the spiritual realm. Now, another thing from another website I uh, I was looking at last night was no matter what type of fornication it is, whether it's if you masturbate, whether you're having sex, whatever it is, if you're not married you are practically telling God you do not care and uh, you are basically turning your back on God and then it went to I kept reading and it started telling me about how you become filthy you become depressed you become miserable Basically, you, you're allowing demons to enter your body. Obviously, you don't see these demons. But they, they influence you. It angers God when you do that. Okay, obviously, as a man, I myself struggle with that. I'm sure if you're a man, you do too. Okay, I don't know about how women deal with that, but I'm sure they're tempted. Okay? Now, I advise you to fight that temptation for your own good. Alright? The reason, there is reasons why the Lord tells us to stay pure. What the Lord means by stay pure is don't masturbate, don't have sex. Don't do any of that, because you're only hurting your spirit. In reality, you're only damaging and weakening your spirit. Now, if you watch the television, I advise you to pay close attention to what you're really watching. Once you begin to do that and ask the Lord for wisdom, you'll see that uh, television glorifies sin. Television is all to influence you, basically, to sin against God. Okay? Now, I've spoke about this in the past, and sadly, not many people have listened to me, but, uh, television networks are run by people who worship Satan. Okay? They're not godly people. They're not people that you should be looking up to, okay? Now, another thing is that every movie, every television show, you notice they all have to have a sex scene, okay? And none of those people in the scenes are married. They're sinning against God, and they're sinning against their own bodies, okay? And practically, by you watching them have sex, you're committing adultery just by watching the show. Now I have spoke about that before. I know I went on a little bit of a rant when I spoke about Satanism and the government and the television networks and all that, which at the time, that's how I was feeling. 
And I believe that's the message that the Lord wanted me to put out at the time when I did put that out. But as of now, the Lord has just filled me with this unexplainable yet undeniable sensation of peace. And you're just always satisfied, silently aware, watching all the time. Jesus is coming very shortly. Okay, and I'm waiting for him. <laughs> very shortly he's going to be here. I don't know the day, and I don't know the time, but I know he's coming. Without a doubt, he's coming. I can feel it. Without a doubt. The weather in these last three to four days has been different than I ever remember it being. Okay, I've been seeing things in these last couple days that I've never seen before. I've had three different demonic attacks happen, but I don't fear, okay? I don't fear anything of this world. When I first started recording this video, there's people across the road over there, on the other side of the woods, shooting guns. I don't know what they were doing, but I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care, man. I'm not afraid. You know, a couple years ago, I would probably went over to them and got myself into a hassle. But anymore, it just doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. It's how I feel anymore. It's I love everybody. Okay, I pray for a lot of people. I pray for their wisdom. I doubt many people are going to watch this video. So, if you're one of the people who are seeing this, well then, I guess God wants you to. I guess God wants you to pay attention. <laughs> You know, a lot of times when I speak, I really, truthfully, don't know what to say. I just let the Spirit speak through me. Okay, like these last couple days, especially today, today of all the days, has been a very spiritual day. And I've screwed up a couple times. Uh, but you gotta be strong. You gotta be at peace. You just got to relax. Between what I've read last night, between the dream I had last night, and uh, a few disputes that have been going on in my family, and the timing of those disputes. Today at 11.11, .11, which is one of the numbers that I'm always seeing. Uh, two people in my family were getting into some kind of argument. I don't know what it was about. It's none of my business. I just know that there was negative energy brewing. And uh, there's a lot of confusion that the devil's trying to bring. But I don't let it get to me. Right as I'm recording this, and hear the raindrops coming down. I guess that's God letting me know that it's time for me to go. It's time for me to go to my next mission. See, before I cut this video short, that's one of the ways how the Lord speaks to you. He speaks to you through the weather, through the signs. He speaks to you through the things that are happening around you. Extra wisdom, and He will guide you. Just like right now, the Lord wants me to go back to my dad's house. There's the rain's coming. That's the sign right there. God bless you all. Please, pray for wisdom.